What's up guys, Shawnee Dogs here, and in this video, we're going to be talking all about the Quartermaster Cypher, how it was cracked, what all this means. If you have absolutely no idea what this is, when you enter the Quartermaster and you press Y on Xbox, Triangle on PlayStation, it allows you to enter a 10-digit alphanumeric code and nobody has been able to crack it. People have been thinking maybe if something happens in the game where like you lose 30 keys that you had, you contact Activision support, and they say, all right, enter this code and you'll get your 30 keys back. But it hasn't worked like that. It really has not been implemented. Even though it's been in the game for so, so long, it has not found any use. That is until today. A YouTuber by the name of Prestigious Key, I'm sure you've at least heard of him. He has over a million subs. He's a Call of Duty YouTuber. He posted on Twitter a very cryptic tweet, just with an emoji, no explanation or anything. And at the top of this supply drop, when you expand the image, it says Quartermaster Cypher. So there are two possibilities of what this could mean. How did someone manage to get their hands on this? I'm thinking the absolute most likely situation is that someone tweeted this out to him, like they sent it to him in a DM. They're like, hey, look what I found. And he just couldn't believe it at all. He was so shocked that he decided to put it on his Twitter and confuse every single one of his followers. Either that or the man is a genius. He's cracked the code. He knows exactly how to get into this quartermaster and loot it for those epic supply drops. So there's around a 99.9% .9 chance it's the first one. But there's the off chance that he's a genius. So what I'm thinking, what the absolute most likely scenario is, is that a guy sent this to him and how he got his hands on it is if you've seen my videos in the past, there's a lot of leaks for Call of Duty. Like people data mine this game, anything that is in the game files, they extract it, they get images, they put it on Reddit, they allow the entire community to see before Activision's ready to release it. I think the same thing is happening here. They finally implemented sort of the quartermaster cypher and this is the first thing that they'll be giving us an epic supply drop bundle if you guys watch counter-strike at all if you watch like their competitive events they randomly throw out codes that people can enter and you can get content for the game maybe call of duty is thinking along the same lines trying to do something similar or they're just gonna have some weird random event maybe they'll tweet something out and they'll give us a code so unfortunately even though the code has been cracked there's nothing for us to unlock there's almost a hundred percent chance that this was done on pc they data mined it and they just took a picture like off their phone it could even be fake who knows but that's probably what happened but i want you guys to take something away from this video and it's about youtube in general i'm sure a lot of you guys see there is so much fake content out there whether it's on youtube news articles pretty much any sort of thing that is put out there for people to see you really can't take it at face value. Take the thumbnail for this video as an example. What started out as just a three rare supply drop bundle that I got from the Quartermaster, it's very, very easy to turn that into a triple epic supply drop Quartermaster Cypher. Not much has changed here. It was very simple to do. It takes about five minutes in Photoshop if you know how to work the program. And it's kind of scary. That image that Prestigious Key posted, it could very well be fake. I don't think it is, but that is always a possibility. You never really know these days. And it sucks that that is a massive part of YouTube in terms of growing your channel and actually getting your video seen by the masses. In my video from the Monday update when they released that new variant for the M2187 shotgun, I actually had it titled as like new DLC weapon variant. And I go over on YouTube before I actually posted the video and I see there's multiple channels out there that it shows, oh, new DLC weapon in Infinite Warfare. Like, wow, like, is someone going to watch new DLC weapon in Infinite Warfare? Or are they going to watch new weapon variant? I really, really hate doing stuff like that. But honestly, you sort of have to if you're a smaller channel. There's no way that your video will get seen and you'll never grow as a channel. I don't think there's a lot of people that can say this, but I really do love making videos. There's some videos I'll put my heart and soul into, make sure they're absolutely perfect. There aren't any editing flaws at all. I'll watch it a hundred times over. It's a video I really, really wanted to make. I'm just doing my thing, having fun. As a benchmark, let's say it gets 5,000 views. And then the next day I do the same thing, but for like half the video, I didn't really want to make it. Maybe it's like a glitch video. I'm showing off a glitch. Boom, that thing gets 30,000 views. So I'm sorry if I've ever deceived you with a title or thumbnail, but I can guarantee 
any of the YouTubers that you guys watch on a daily basis. If you go ahead, the next video that you watch from them, you think about it, their title and the thumbnail of the video, I bet you it is talked about for like one, maybe two minutes tops. And the worst offenders are definitely vloggers. It's a little bit different for Call of Duty because sometimes you're literally on that same topic for like 10 minutes. But for especially real life videos, they're just doing their thing and the title and thumbnail is for them to grow their channel. I pretty much do the same thing. I think regardless of what I'm talking about or showing you guys in a video, you can always expect to see some really good gameplay, probably like a nuke in almost every single one of my gameplays. And I try to explain to the best of my ability how I play the game so that others can get better. So I hope you guys found this insightful. Let me know what you think down in the comments. I have another live com nuke for you guys in just a moment. But first, I'd like to give a shout out to a few people from the notification squad that you see on here. To become part of the squad, you just have to hit that little bell icon. If you're one of the first people to watch my videos, screenshot it at me on Twitter and you will be automatically entered for a chance to win a live com nuke that I will get for you and include it in a video for you on the channel. I do this every week. And if you don't like taking your chances, I do also get live com nukes for supporters of the channel on my Patreon page. And I put that link in the description of all my videos. I don't really have much to say right now, honestly. I've been using this gun, trying to get this nuke a lot longer than usual. And uh, it's not looking too good here, folks. R3K, it's not, uh, oh man. It's not living up to the hype. Oh, okay, the movement's on point, the shot's good. We gotta make it happen. This could be a good sign. I heard that guy a mile away. But yeah, this, this thing has no short range potential. And if you don't one burst someone, you're going to get demolished. That was unfortunate. That doesn't count. We're going to pretend that never happened. Oh my. Okay. So we got Mr. K Bar Synaptic flying through the air and his buddy sitting back with the MV4. And uh, the shot's not on point right now. Oh, he came back. Okay. Okay, buddy. Okay, we stole that one. I just got to get the advance going. I'm struggling out here. Oh my god. I should not have survived that one. Oh. Oh my lord, there's a guy next to me. Wow. We just got absolutely plastered. There's a 2% chance I'm dropping a nuke this game. Oh my god. Come on. Come on. Alright. This... I'm gonna have to try to go positive now. Probably like even. Oh. Nope. Yeah, nice K bar, dude. You keep using that, I'll keep going R3K. Oh, jeez. Wow, he just ate two bursts, man. I'm about to throw this gun in a dumpster. Oh, man. You know, I don't know. I'm feeling it. The shots on, the movements on point. I feel like I'm just. Getting real unlucky. A guy just face shifts in front of me. Okay. There we go. Oh. Oh. The shot's looking crispy. Come on. We got one. I'm sure a lot of them are using ghosts. I'm not seeing many red dots on the radar. This is going to be tough. Just got to keep building. Oh. Yeah. Oh man. Is this like my first streak of the game I'm going for? Enemy shark in play. Definitely flip. Just don't know where exactly they're at. Oh. Saw another. Through this little crack. Ready to go. Oh my god. Whew. We gotta recover. There we go. 
See, I'm not using the combat focus. I'm not trying to get 20 kills. I'm doing what I can. Hey, squeeze a little more out of it. Closing in on that advance, though. That's what I'm concerned with. Oh my god. No, no, no. No, don't push me. No. Is that a C4? Really? What is this? I'm out. I'm gonna try to flank around real quick. Oh no. <clears throat> wow. Wow, wow, wow. Do they know I'm here? That's the question. Oh my god. No. No, no, no. no. Retreat. Oh. Oh, he's not pushing. Yo. Oh my god. We gotta drop this. We were barely going positive at the beginning. And I'm scared to go in that building. Is a sentry gun? Yeah, nice steel dragon, buddy. Got two more. Oh, that other guy definitely knows I'm here now. Oh, I guess not. That last guy definitely does, though. He's not even pushing. Oh, we could hit this flank real quick. We got one coming back. Oh, my God. That... Oh, my Lord. Bro Okay. That was beautiful execution right there. I got one kill and I should have gotten three. Oh. I saw that stab teammate. He's out here. Oh, come on. Come on. I don't think the other guy's here. Come on. Wow. See there. I wasted combat focus. Oh, that guy got melted. This gun does have some upside, but it's a warden. Okay. The upside, it, it comes not too often. Trip mines. Okay. I might have to pick up the pace here. We're at 86. I need five kills. All right. That's good. Four. I need four and we got 12 kills left. Let's do it. Uh, oh, okay. He's underground. Oh, my God. Bro. 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 Oh, my Lord. Oh, the other one's underground. We need two kills, and there's six left. We're good. Oh, my God. My teammate's going to get that guy. One more. One more. No, teammate. Teammate. There are two kills. I'm not. No, no, no. Yo. Oh, my God. God, I don't think you guys realize how long I was going for that nuke, but we managed to pull it out. I know I didn't get to call it in. You guys always uh, rip on me in the comments when I don't call it in, but mission accomplished, man. An R3K, you guys should try using this gun. It is not worth it at all. I'll try to show you guys in the lobby. I did get the nuke. I'm positive. I was one kill off. I got that right at the last second, but that's going to wrap it up for this one. Man. If you guys did enjoy it, please be sure to drop a like. Comment down below with any thoughts or questions you may have. If you would like me to get a live com nuke on your account, offer that as a reward to supporters of the channel on my Patreon page. The link to that will also be down below in the description. Here's the beautiful nuke. And as always, subscribe to the channel if you guys are brand new for some more great videos, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.